uh, trivia question. Reggie T said it after leaving Bethlehem. To which country did Joseph, Mary, and Jesus travel? Real easy. 313-871-6094 or 313-871-6095. All right. Well, are y'all still like in the holiday days? Because everybody seemed off that game today. <laughs> um, I think this is because everybody was late today. Like, oh, oh, oh bitch, man, you're not talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came at six o'clock on the dot. That's good. That's oh my good. goodness! I think somebody had too much ice cream. Oh my goodness! I tell y'all, this holiday season has been crazy. So uh, last week, I got here a little late. So Sharon, Sharon, she parked all the way down the street. She's talking about, where are you at? All I see is houses right here. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it was just houses. Like oh, it was a lit up head. building, and she was like parked all the way down there. It's like, okay, just tell me when you get here. I was scared. It was dark. But I have a quick question. All right. Name two most important things that happened to you in 2016. Oh, I got me, 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 oh, me, me. Oh. Okay. Thing number one. Mm-hmm. I made it to 2016. You mean, and the second thing, I'm making it out. Hey, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. What, what about, about you, Kyle? You? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say my business really elevated for these past ooh, months. Ooh. And I'm hearing with y'all. That's that's radio. King, what is the business? Oh, um, King Bow Ties. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to King Bow Ties. Shout out to King Bow Ties. That's one of my uh, biggest things, too, being here with y'all. Hey, okay, okay, okay. And that's pretty much it. I didn't have a really good year. This you did it. Good happen, really. Oh. We made our handshake. Yeah. We became good friends. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> anyway, what did y'all have for Christmas dinner? Because people were talking. Oh, oh. You know this guy? People were talking about on social media about uh, their Christmas dinners. And they say, like, it's the same Thanksgiving dinner. But okay. <laughs> okay, I have okay, okay. I had ham, ribs. turkey, ham, turkey, ribs, macaroni, yams, hey! greens, dressing, cupcakes, red velvet. Okay, <laughs> I have ribs, chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs. Ooh, sweet, you got that barbecue. Sweet potato pies, um, dressing, macaroni, and Pepto Bismol. Oh, ugh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Cranberry, yeah, it was basically Thanksgiving dinner. I had crab legs, sweet potatoes, string beans, greens. Mm. Too many greens, but yeah. Well, Kyle, you still um on your vegan trail? How's that going? My vegan trail. Oh my god, you missed it. Last week we walked in here and he was eating listen. pizza. <gasps> All right, but listen, listen, listen. That's <laughs> something that really hurt me in 2016. Going vegan and going back. Going vegan <laughs> and going back. That really helped me, y'all. She you know, because you can't keep doing that because right, you're going to mess up. Yeah. yeah. You think so? Yes. So what should my New Year's resolution be? Get your life. Get my life? Yeah. Let loose. Well, not let loose. Like, let go. You're so uptight and like. Oh. It's what? not a bad thing. That's just what you are. And I feel like you should, You don't have fun a lot. Aww. Oh. I'm not trying to come to okay, you. Okay, all right. okay. She's not trying to all right, all right. come on. Come on, Julia. Let's talk. Let's talk. Come on. Catch a report. All right. Let's do that. Let's catch a report. Let's catch a report. It was a beautiful December afternoon at the North Pole, and Christmas was approaching. In Santa's workshop, the elves were hammering away at disassembled toys, preparing them for Santa's annual sleigh ride. But all was not well in Santa's workshop, for one elf, George, was under the influence of prescription drugs. Ow, what's the matter with you, George? Just cut my hand. Sorry, must be the prescription pills I'm using. Pills? What do you need pills for? George? How did you get your hands on those pills? Jasmine! Well, his back was hurting the other day, and I had some pills, so I gave him some. Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. You know you're not supposed to take other people's prescription pills. I know, boss. It's just... You're just nothing, Georgie. Taking certain types of medicine without a doctor's prescription is wrong. If you want a nice gift from Santa Claus, you'll see a doctor before putting any medicine into your body. You do want to be good, don't you? Steps Radio. Facebook.com slash Steps Radio. And we're back, America. I just want to say, keep a smile on your face, stay positive, and keep saying no to drugs. You will thank me later. Steps Radio. Push back right well, yeah. How about that report, guys? Um, talking about Santa Claus. 
Yeah. yeah. You know, Elf was the Elf had a drug problem. Well, I, I heard. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about <laughs> opiates using abusing prescription drug, yeah, wow. drugs. Yeah. Drugs, medications. Mm. The Elf. Guard your medicine cabinets, people. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, my goodness. All right, I got a trivia question. Okay. Um, January is named after what Roman god who had two faces so he could look ahead to the future and back at the past at the same thing? Is it Jupiter, Janus, or Jason? Juice. I think it's Zeus. I think it's Janus. I think it's Janus as well. Zeus. You guys are right. Well, Zeus. You guys are right. I was thinking Janus just like off the top of my head. I get, wait. You said Zeus. I gave you three <laughs> names to choose from. And no, no Zeus was in there for you, man. I know. I was trying to do one of your numbers during the break. All right. So I got something. Did y'all set out cookies and milk for Santa Claus? Did you? No, I'm just asking y'all. Like, did y'all? <laughs> I, no. Just I say no. no. Well, what did, what did y'all get for Christmas? For myself. Did y'all get what y'all wanted? Um, Money, yes. No. Money? Okay. I didn't get a car. Oh, <laughs> look, Mama. Me either. What mama. about you, Shay? I thought I was gonna wake up to a car. You know, yeah. this camera I wanted, the iPad I want. Range oh my Rover. goodness! I, I woke up car, to the tree. Camera and yeah. what else? Car, camera, and the iPad, bro. iPad. Oh my goodness, she's balling out here. I got. I don't a- have it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got four pairs of shoes. Ooh. Um, a lot of smell good. Okay. And some new Alex and Annie bracelets. Oh, Jalea right. brought me one. It was really pretty. Yeah. I really oh, like Jalea gave out Christmas presents. I know. Like, I'm so surprised. So I nice. told you I was buying a bow tie from you, Kyle. Oh. Now, didn't I tell you that? I don't have it. What that- is it? Anybody see it? <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, be sure to contact Steps Program for your new radio t shirt. Call 313 868 1340. Extension 111 for a donation of $20. Your shirt can be yours. Call 313-868-13 for the extension 111. Speaking of Our t-shirts, sh- excuse me. Yeah, no problem. Dizzy. We're going to give um, Jay Smooth a pushback radio t-shirt. Reggie hey. T. Hold on, Reggie T. Hey. It's a pre-birthday gift. Okay, She okay. just has to make a donation of $60, and it's her. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. I, don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh what? my. <laughs> happy birthday. Christmas. Happy birthday. What are you? What? Just forget it. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. Let's get your report. Pushback Radio. Hi, everybody. I've got a special guest with me this week, Macklemore. For those of you who don't share the same love for hip-hop that I do, an advocate who's giving voice to a disease that we too often just whisper about, the disease of addiction. Hey, everybody. I'm here with President Obama because I take this personally. I abuse prescription drugs and I battled addiction. If I hadn't gotten the help that I needed when I needed it, I definitely would not be here today. And I want to help others facing the same challenges that I did. Now, drug overdoses now take more lives every year than traffic accidents. Deaths from opioid overdoses have tripled since 2000. A lot of time, they're from legal drugs prescribed by a doctor. Addiction doesn't always start in some dark alley. It often starts in a medicine cabinet. In fact, a new study released this month found that 44% of Americans know someone who has been addicted to prescription painkillers. I didn't just know someone. I lost someone. My friend Kevin overdosed on painkillers when he was just 21 years old. Addiction is like any other disease. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care what color you are, whether you're a guy or a girl, rich or poor, whether you live in an inner city, a suburb, a rural America. This doesn't just happen to other people's kids or in some other neighborhood. It can happen to any of us. Steps Radio. Facebook.com. And we're back, America. Let's hear from How on the News Report. They were talking about addiction. It usually starts with medicine. What do you think? Well, what do y'all think of, like, addictions? Like, when somebody is addicted to something, does it just have to be medicine or can it, like, be food? It can definitely be a lot of things. It can be, like, a food addiction. Like, what's y'all favorite food? Like, ribs. y'all would, like, my goodness, like, Chicken, die over. ribs. Chicken, ribs. I have to eat green all the time. Oh, my goodness. Y'all won't believe this. Y'all ever heard of chilling? Stop call. If you say that's your favorite food, oh my God. No, 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 no. I don't have favorite food. But my grandma, she loves chilling. She always cooks them on the New Year. Disgusting. They're good? Yeah, she does love chilling. No. Disgusting. I never ate chilling before. You eat it? Okay. Chitterlings. 
<laughs> Black people say chitlins. Chitlins. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I think I need to go back on this vegan thing. How? Um, it's not gonna last. <laughs> like, what do y'all think? People that switch from drinking and then try to eat healthy. It's like you're getting a bad substance that's toxic, but you also getting a good substance. Y'all think that's like a benefit to them or something? I didn't even understand. No, because I understand. Like, <clears throat> why are you drinking and then? Like, what? The only a, okay. Let's what? say I'm one of y'all friends, right? Mm-hmm. And the only thing I drink is Hennessy, <laughs> but I say I'm a vegan because I eat salad. Okay. It has nothing to do with is that. Is that good for me? Like, Kyle, no, Kyle. If, if you like, want to mess up your liver, you follow yes, your mind. What you like to do? Mm-hmm. Are your um, family vegan? No. You're the only person that's doing it. Yeah. You bored? No. Yes. Oh no. I mean, I just want to try different things in life. You don't want to stay with the same thing. You get the same results. You ever heard that quote? Oh, I heard that quote. I never heard that quote. <laughs> if y'all do the same thing, y'all gonna get the same results. Yeah. Okay. Y'all must have never heard that, but that's heard that's it. that's a good one. I got something to share with you guys. How do you say trivia question? How do you say Happy New Year in Spanish? Three one three eight seven one six zero nine five. I don't take Spanish. So oh, three one three. <laughs> Something. Eight seven one six zero nine. Feliz Nuevo. Año Nuevo. Something. She got it right. Is that right? Feliz yeah. Año Nuevo. Who said that? That's right. Oh, that's yeah, good. She did that's good. That. Man. Oh my goodness. Okay. It is the season for giving. Need a great cause to support? Well, donate to our college tour. Donations can be made online at ncadddetroit.org slash donations. Online donations are being accepted 24-7. That's ncadddetroit.org slash donations. Can the STEPS program change your mind about smoking cancer sticks? Give us a shot. The STEPS program is now opening... Holding open enrollment for fall 2016 slots for ages 13 through 16. Parents should call 313-649-PUSH. All right. And I always give drugs and alcohol the middle finger. Hey! (laughs) Since this is our last show of 2016, what did y'all accomplish in 2016? Mm. Better communication skills? Communication skills? That's so good. I don't know why she just said her. That's good, though. (laughs) Communication (laughs) skills. What did I accomplish? Mm. Well, while you're thinking, while you guys are thinking, I'm going to come back and get a report. Mm. I know recovery isn't easy to work with, but along with the 12-step program, treatment has saved my life, and recovery works. We need our leaders in Washington to fund it and for people to know how to find it. We all need to do more to make that happen. Another way our country can help those suffering in private is to make this conversation public. When you're going through it, it's hard to imagine there could be anything worse than addiction. But shame and the stigma associated with the disease keeps too many people from seeking the help that they actually need. Addiction isn't a personal choice or a personal failing, and sometimes it takes more than a strong will to get better. It takes a strong community and accessible resources. The good news is there's hope. When we talk about opioid abuse as the public health problem that it is, more people will seek the help that they need, find the strength to recover, just like Macklemore and millions of Americans have. We'll see fewer preventable deaths and fewer broken families. We have to tell people who need help that it's okay to ask for it. We've got to make sure they know where to get it. We all have a role to play. Even if we haven't fought this battle in our own lives, there's a good chance we know someone who has or who is. President Obama and I just had a powerful conversation here at the White House about opioid abuse and what we can do about it. Thanks, everybody. Me and my people, I was close. And we're back, Radio. Steps Radio is sponsored by the Detroit Wayne Mental Health Steps Authority and NCADD GDA. Yes, that report was um, really awesome. It was about a great abuse. President Barack Obama was talking about, you know, substance abuse and how serious it is and how we need to really try to prevent it and encourage others to stop, you know? And Macklemore. Okay. Was in that too. Well, uh, y'all. I didn't know he had a substance abuse problem. You know, this is so, so serious. You know, he just lost a um, pop star recently, 53 years old, had a heart attack, some sort. Yeah. And Ricky Harris? Or yeah, you know Ricky Harris. No, the Wham guy. guy. Oh, okay. The Wham guy. What's his name? George Michael. George Michael. Mm-hmm. And then you had um, the Princess Leia yeah, lady Princess Leia. from Star Wars. Yeah. She died recently. She had some substance abuse, substance abuse problems too. Yeah, Man. Wow. So this is very serious, very important. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. 
Well, y'all, since we are talking about that and it's the last of 2016, y'all want to hear a riddle? Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. There's a man that goes to work at 2 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. Oh, my God.